Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial of Scale. In this one, I will be showing you uh, how does it work, the option um, automatic loading from samples. Um, we will uh, create uh, an AFC test, so I will be, I will name it. Uh, it actually doesn't matter because we will not uh, we make it create the test until the end but uh, we'll name it um, to AFC uh, auto and we confirm it um, so we would fill uh, the options and once filled then we would uh, go to add samples uh, we select the option auto which means automatic and then we can we have to choose one of those of um, of those options uh, only one um, the I will explain a little bit how does the, the automatic loading uh, option works it takes um, we just uh, give uh, an, um, a folder to scale uh, and then scale looks in this folder uh, and uh, first uh, count how many samples or uh, WAF, yeah, WAF samples there are in the folder and he divides the this number of samples with uh, the option given here if the division it uh, makes sense then the sample loading interface opens with all the samples loaded so I will show you first um, how uh, what happens when we don't do it correctly. So let's. I have in my uh, in the folder. I have one hundred uh, exactly one hundred uh, samples. Uh, so um, if I give a number uh, of uh, scenarios or uh, samples for a scenario that is not uh, divisible by 100 we will get an error so let's say I want uh, to make seven scenarios uh, using those 100 samples uh, 7 and 100 uh, it's not um, a clear uh, division so we will get an error so I will press confirm and I have to select now the directory my samples are in this directory stimuli and I press OK so we uh, get the, the message um, as I have 100 uh, samples uh, if I select for example 10 scenarios the system will all uh, automatically load 10 samples um, in every scenario 10 samples in scenario 1 and 2 until scenario 10 if I select 5 uh, he will the uh, the program will load um, 20 samples um, per scenario. Uh, if our samples are ordered, uh, he does uh, this uh, adding loading process um, using the an alphabetically order. So he takes basically the samples in the folder, orders them uh, alphabetically, and uh, if some if um, there are 20 samples in every scenario, in scenario in scenario one, sample one. Uh, we will have the sample which is the first one um, after alphabetic ordering and in scenario number 5, sample number 20, we will have the sample which is uh, when alphabetically ordered the last one. So we select uh, 5 uh, scenarios and we select our folder and we press OK. As you see, the samples have been automatically assigned. In scenario one, we have the sample that alphabetically is uh, lower. So this one is tone zero, one, two, five. And in scenario five, the last sample, it's tone two, zero, uh, etc. Um, we can, once we've done this, we can also modify like yeah uh, modify the samples uh, again we can um, erase samples we can add samples uh, all the samples in the that we have imported 
they appear here except the ones selected in the same scenario as you have seen maybe in another tutorial and yeah basically this is how uh, works this uh, au automatic loading from samples i will show you now when what uh, that we can do this uh, but instead of selecting since the beginning a number of scenarios we can select also a number of samples so i press cancel and i will make the same so i will select add samples automatic and now we will add uh, instead of choosing number of scenarios we choose samples per scenario so we select now for example 10 samples per scenario i remember that we have uh, 100 samples so if you make the count uh, now we will have 10 scenarios i press uh, confirm i go to the stimuli folder i press ok and as you see we have now 10 scenarios with 10 samples per scenario so yeah this is basically how works uh, this option um, and uh, I think it's interesting because uh, it can save a lot of time if you um, decided to order your samples alphabetically uh, before named your samples alphabetically um, when creating them so yeah thank you for watching um, and uh, if you are more interested you can watch uh, another tutorial uh, of a scale Thanks and bye-bye.